4070 versus 7800 XT. The reason we're taking a look at this head to head comparison is because they can both be found at the exact same price. I mean, the cheapest model. For the 4070, cheapest model $520, 7800 XT, cheapest model $520. Uh, so that's great. The prices on the 4070 have come down from the MSRP of $600. And probably the main reason is because the 7800 XT is a good product, could be better, but nonetheless, it's a good product. So we're going to check this amazing article from TechSpot, which I believe they also have the YouTube channel hardware unboxed. And uh, you might be wondering hmm, i'm playing mostly with ray tracing mostly with non-ray tracing which card should i buy well i think the 7800 xt is the better card and we're gonna take a look at the results so they have a description check the article if you want a lot more information i'm gonna try to go through this pretty quick so they have benchmarks if you're gonna play starfield which i am playing right now uh, amd cards perform just perform better there is no ray tracing so if you want to pl just play starfield like 5000 hours <laughs> just buy the 7800 xt i want to go back a bit overall they have pretty much the same performance with a few outliers but overall they have the same perform performance so for longevity sake i think you should get the 16 gigabyte card and not the 12 gigabyte card because you might probably know nvidia is already starting to have problems with its uh, 8 gigabyte cards because they don't have enough vram and performance is tanking a lot if you do not have enough vram that is of course if you want to play with ultra uh, ultra settings especially on the 3000 series but uh, maybe in two years 12 gigabytes is not gonna be enough as well so for longevity sake get the 16 gigabyte card ratchet and clank rift apart 1080p 4070 is winning by quite a good margin probably this is like 15 percent same story at 1440p yeah i want to add these cards should be played at 1440p of course most people i think they're still playing on 1080p cards i don't see these cards as 4k uh, gaming cards because on max settings they don't get 60 fps i mean you can lower down the settings but what's the point of that you can just play on 1440p with ultra settings and it's probably gonna look better i'm not sure but i care more about the 1440p results cyberpunk if you want to play cyberpunk with ray tracing what are you going to do well we'll see because these results are non-ray tracing results and the amd card has a slight advantage but the 4070 performed quite well as you can see at 1080p and 1440p 4k i don't like them at 4k so i'm gonna ignore those results from now on and now the big one ray tracing we all know nvidia is better at ray tracing in cyberpunk but is it though is it an actual good win because let's say you want to play ray tracing ultra on the 4070 are you gonna really play at 36 fps because i would not play at 36 fps and yes the, it's without upscaling blah 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 but it, it, the performance is just not good on uh on native resolution right so if you only play cyberpunk just remember yeah you're gonna get okay performance on a 1080p monitor but you're paying 520 dollars to play on, on a graphics card to pay on a 1080p monitor i don't know if that's really smart but in any case at 1080p the 4070 just crashes and it's actually a good victory but at 1440p it's just not a good victory it's just it is the win but it's a pyrrhic win it's it doesn't make any sense so what you could do is use upscaling but you can do that on the 7800 xt as well although I'm, i would probably play it without ray tracing because that's just the better choice in my opinion or with light ray, ray tracing in which the 7800 xt would do just fine but again it's a win for the 4070 in cyberpunk but it's not a great win that's that's the gist of it next up callisto protocol basically same performance ray tracing high basically same performance with a slight uh, a slight win for the 7800 xt remember with ray tracing yes fortnite uh, this one clear win in 1080p for the 4070 uh, also a clear win at 1440p so if you're a fortnite player without ray tracing uh, yeah native res resolution it's just rasterized performance 4070 and 
is better in Fortnite and Cyberpunk. So if you only play those two games, get the 4070. But keep in mind, you might have trouble with other games in the future because it only has 12 gigabytes. Fortnite also has uh, ray tracing and surprise surprise, the 7800 XT is like 10% better at 1440p and also 10% better at 1080p in ray tracing guys, okay? This is the future with Lumen and Nanite and it seems that the AMD cards are comparable in performance in DX12 Lumen and Nanite ray tracing, which is awesome. Presented Evil 2, basically same performance. 2, did I say it in Evil 2? No. 4. This is rasterized performance and this is ray tracing performance because max quality also enables ray tracing. And as you can see, performance is basically almost the same with a slight win. Uh, for the 7800 XT at 1440p. Spider-Man, basically the same performance. Spider-Man with high ray tracing, basically the same performance. Hogwarts Legacy, clear win for the 7800 XT uh, in rise performance. Hogwarts Legacy with ray tracing, basically same performance at 1080p. A good win for the 4070, although I don't know if Hogwarts Legacy has upscaling, but you might want to use that in order to get uh, 60 frames per second. So it's a good win, but I would probably use upscaling in this case. Star Wars Jedi Survivor, rasterized performance, clear win for the AMD card, ray tracing enabled, a win, a marginal win or marginal. It's like call it 8% at 1080p and also maybe 8% at 1440p. So it's a slight win, 9%, 6%. Yeah, it's a slight win. Yeah, they said at the beginning of the article they tested 45 games in total, which is insane. But kudos to them. Again, check check them out on YouTube. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're watching hardware unboxed before you're watching my channel. But in any case, full credit where it's deserved. I do not have these cards. I do not have the funds to do these tests but i can give you my opinion on the result that the big channels are doing so at 1080p the 7800 xt is three percent faster so it's basically the same overall performance yeah but again you want to check the list and uh, pick the card based on the games you are currently playing even though i'm gonna go back at the beginning i said i would prefer the amd card strictly because it's more future proof with the 16 gigabyte vram buffer so as you can see the the biggest loss for the 7800 xt is in cyberpunk with ray tracing ultra but that win for the 4070 is not is not really a win because you're not gonna play on on a slideshow 30 fps it literally is a slideshow you want to get at least like 60 fps in any game if you want a really good experience they also have uh, removed ray tracing performance and in that case on average the 7800 xt is five percent faster than the 4070 and the only big loss is in fortnite although performance is good for both cards because fortnite is not that demanding ray tracing performance the 7800 xt is overall only four percent slower on average and the only like big loss is in cyberpunk but as mentioned before it's not a good win for this 4070 because it only has 36 fps which this is a coincidence if you go back to where i looked at the cyberpunk ray tracing results you're gonna see that the 4070 card got 36 fps and the amd card got 27 i believe so 36 fps fps is not great guys it's just not 1440p results five percent faster on average this includes all the testing without ray tracing seven percent faster on average just the ray tracing results two percent slower on average oh yeah these were i'm gonna go ahead and correct myself these were 1080p so numbers were higher the 4070 got something like 57 fps so that's good but 1080p but again i would prefer you guys buy either of these cards for a 1440p gaming monitor that's the balance pc they, that i would build ray tracing at 1440p the only big loss is in i mean it, it let's call it it's two big losses cyberpunk and hogwarts legacy although they are not like super clear wins Hogwarts Legacy performs let's say okay on the 4070 
with ray tracing it gets like 50 fps so you could probably play with 50 fps but cyberpunk i would not play with 36 fps i would just not so in conclusion my recommendation is as long as they are at the same price just get the get the 7800 xt it's just clear as daylight for me 7800 xt is just the better card right now and most likely in the future because as new games will be released they will demand more and more vram at the ultra settings and uh, the 12 gigabyte card is gonna have problems for sure because they already have problems so that's it for today i hope you enjoyed the video if you did leave a like leave a comment consider subscribing maybe check my patreon page and i'll see you in the next video bye for now